So I'm gonna teach you all how to go and fix your voice with two books and one question. So with these two books, this one here is kind of like a book that has dictionary type words for phonetic transcription. And then this book over here has a bunch of interesting plays. Which one would you rather go and read through and rather listen to or watch? Probably you're gonna say this one right here. Who wouldn't? Every reasonable person would. So this book, well, we don't need it. We're gonna put it to the side. So now that we can all agree that this book is gonna be far more interesting and enjoyable to listen to, watch, let's go ahead and actually listen to it right now. You are 20. I am not yet 30. How many years have we got before us? A long, long chain of days full of my love for you. What am I doing right now? I am seeming extremely boring. You guys are probably going, oh my God, this reading is so boring. Please just go ahead and just read this book over here. But why? This book, it has stories, it has characters written into it. And artists went through and did their writing job to make this story interesting. Yet I just read it and I completely butchered it. How is this possible? Because I didn't have any dynamics in my voice at all. And this is a trap that many actors fall into all the time. I can't tell you how many times actors have come to me and they've showed me their monologue and then I'm watching it and they just don't have any dynamics. Because think about this, we would never go to an art gallery that just had white walls and white frames and there was no dynamics in the artistry. We would never go and listen to music that just played everything at one note all the time and it was really boring just like that. We would also never go to a dance recital and they just do the same dance move over and over and over again. But when it comes to acting, for some reason, actors tend to fall into that trap where they will go and literally say the lines the exact same way and there's no dynamics. Now the trap of this is, is when there's no dynamics, you don't truly know what the other person is feeling. And as actors, we're in that feeling business. The audience have to watch us and know what is the story that's trying to be told? Am I understanding it? When you don't have dynamics, that story, it's out of control. We don't know where it's going. So now hopefully you're at home and you're sitting down watching this video and you're going, okay, great. I understand these points now. Now I know I need to have dynamics as an actor and as an individual. So now your next question is, how can I achieve this? Lucky for all of you, I have just the thing that if you implement it today and you start working on this every single day, you will start to see improvements for yourself. So here's how it's gonna work. Pull out your camera and you have to record yourself doing a monologue. Typically, I recommend two minutes long. And you're just gonna record yourself doing this monologue. Then you're gonna watch the monologue back, but you're gonna watch it back in two specific ways. The first way you're gonna watch it back is you're just going to listen to the audio. You're gonna push play, put the screen down and just listen to your voice. You're gonna ask yourself questions. Hey, do I know what I'm actually feeling in this moment? Hey, could I tell, did I seem sad? Did I seem mad? Did I seem angry? Did my voice seem shaky? Did I seem confident? What is everything that you're noticing? And then write down on a piece of paper all those things that you're doing wrong. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch now your recording and you're gonna turn the audio all the way down and now you're just gonna look at it from the visual perspective and seeing how are your dynamics within your body and within your face. Can you tell how you're feeling in the scene? Does it seem like you have a story in your eyes? Does it seem like you're actually talking to somebody? Then after you've gone through and now you have this piece of paper and you've made all of these notes for yourself, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna record yourself a second time through. But now through the second time, you're gonna look at this piece of paper first and you're gonna try and correct and fix all of these points. Meaning if in the first time through, you were like, yeah, my eye movement, it was just random and sporadic, you're gonna have more control over your eyes when you're gonna do this next recording. Maybe you're gonna find one place on the wall and you're gonna focus on that point. And then you're gonna say, okay, what about my voice? Oh yeah, I couldn't tell that I was sad in the beginning. I seemed more angry and bitter in the beginning. Okay, let me go and fix that with my voice. And you're gonna try this over and over and then naturally dynamics are gonna start growing and building within each performance. Now, my recommendation is to do this if you can five to 10 times every single day. And then if you do this every single day, just for one month, you're gonna find find huge improvements for yourself that you can just go engage from the first recording all the way to the last recording, but it takes practice. So now bear with me for the next 30 seconds because I'm gonna tell you this honest truth. Most people are gonna watch this, they're gonna say, okay, cool, great, and then they're not even gonna fully practice this because what's gonna happen is you're gonna watch yourself or listen to yourself back and it's gonna be really awkward because it is for anybody. But the actors who are truly gonna progress and get to the next level are the actors who realize, yeah, this is weird, this is embarrassing, but I'm gonna go through with this because I need to go and improve on my acting. 
working. And that's what you have to do for yourself. So I hope you all like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you all. We're posting two videos a week now. And if you're interested in our 10 hour acting masterclass, our 2.0 version, that's always gonna be linked down in the description down below and also in the comment section. And then if you found this video very helpful for all of you, then you're gonna love this video right over here. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.